justice tonight. That's how the families of two men who were killed over the summer on Longboat Key feel after the alleged killer's trial is postponed. Tonight, our Jake Peterson with why the suspect may never have his day in court. That was our very first date. The mornings are the worst part of Thomas Swigert's day. Between that half hour, 45 minute period, I'm just a total wreck every morning. I know he's gone. I know he's never coming back, but it's still just painful. His partner, Kevin Carter, was brutally murdered while working at the Zoda Beach Resort in August. Another co-worker, Timothy Hurley, was also killed. Investigators say their co-worker, Daryl Hanna Jr., is the man who pulled the trigger. I never felt that I could get justice. But about a week later, Hanna was in the Manatee County Jail. He's still there, but in a very different state. Guard walked into his cell and found him passed out on the floor. He was brain dead. And they have to maintain life support. Attorney saying he had a stroke-like event. They aren't sure if his condition will improve. So now they just wait, and there's a chance Hannah will never have his day here in court. We're still suffering with this day to day. Daryl in a coma, he doesn't feel anything. He's not giving us any closure. It'll be up to a judge to decide how to proceed. Ultimately, Swigert was hoping for life or even death in this case, but there's a chance it won't be a judge determining the outcome. Even if he passes away, I don't see it as him receiving justice. Reporting in Manatee County, Jake Peterson, ABC Action News. And we also found out that county taxpayers are paying for Hannah's medical expenses. We reached out to the county tonight to find out what that daily cost is, and we're still waiting for their response.